here with Amy. Today we're going to learn about her project at Expo 87. Well, can you tell us what your project's all about? Yes, um, my project is about winds. Um, well, I'd like to ask you, what's this that you got behind you? Um, well, this is a wind anemometer. Okay. Do you have, well, what do you have over there that, what do you have? Is that an experiment that you got over there? It makes a tornado, and then, you know. Okay. Can you explain something about your project? Well, uh, this is a map of the world and which way the winds blow. Like, this is a polar easterly, and I just show which way they blow. And this is just a wheel, and I put the names of desert winds and the mountain winds and snow winds, and I just took them all together and kind of made the winds. I'd like to also ask you, on, on your map here, what's all these arrows and everything that's going on across? Well, those kind of represent the winds and which way they blow. Oh, I think this is really exciting. Here with you Christian Bradfield. We're going to learn about his project in Expo 87. Well, Christian, what are you doing today in your project in Expo 87? Egypt. Um, I see a man on your poster. Can you ask, tell me about him? He is King Tut. Tutankhamun is his real name. He died at the age of eight. Christian, um, I would like to know who discovered King Tut's body. Howard Carter. Can you show us some things that's on your poster that you'd want us to know about? Yes. What are these over here on your poster? Hieroglyphics. What are these over here? Um, did you make these? Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time doing your project? Yes. Well, is there anything you really would like to tell us? Um, one thing. Uh, they never knew how... Where? They never And I'd just like to ask you one more question. What is this over here on that sheet of paper? A maze for everybody. Show it to everybody. I'm here with Arthur. He's going to tell us some about his project, Expo 87. I'd like to know, did you make these yourself? Yeah. Can you tell us what these, what these models are? Allosaurus and Brontosaurus. Do you know when dinosaurs lived? Long time ago. Would you like to tell us some about your project? Okay. Can you tell us some about your poster? This one or that one? Um, we, um, how about this one? It took me a long time to make it. Could you tell us just a little bit more so we can know some about dinosaurs? Um, Brontosaurus usually stays in the water a lot. Do you know anything more about different kinds of dinosaurs? No. Okay. Just, just these two. Mm. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about no. dinosaurs? No. I'm here with Philip Noblin. Okay. Did you have fun doing your project? Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah. Um, I had a volcano, and this was Mount St. Helens, and Mount Vesuvius, and that was an ex extinct one. What, what are these rocks here? Well, volcanic rocks that shot out of the volcano when it, when it was erupting. What was the hardest part of your project? Writing. Writing your report? Uh, do you think there should be a science fair every year? Yes. So you had fun? Yes. All right, same here with Matthew Ozug. Can you tell me a little bit about your project? Sure. What I did here was I took a paper towel and polluted it with some vinegar. Then I put the penny in its stand on the paper towel and covered it with the glass. And in a few hours, it started to turn green. What was the hardest part of your project? Probably doing the lettering. 
Did you have fun doing it? Yes, I did. Do you think there should be a science fair every year? Yes. All right, thank you for talking to me. Teachers and visitors that we interviewed seemed very impressed with Explore 87. <laughs> Dr. I'm going to ask you about some questions about the Science Expo. How do you like this year's Science Expo? Well, Christy, I wasn't here in the past when this first Science Expo was held. I have to tell you, I'm very impressed with the quality of work the students did in developing their science questions and then displaying their projects to the public. How many of your students have exhibits in the Science Expo? I'm glad you asked, because the Science Expo this year had voluntary participation for primary students. And as you know, because you're one of my students, nobody had to participate. But yet, in my room, 24 out of 26 students volunteered. I think this shows a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of encouragement uh, for science here at Brunel. Have you spoken to many visitors on the expo? Yeah, I've been here for quite a while, and the people I've spoken to all share the same feelings that I have, that the work the students put into their projects must have been very time-consuming, but certainly very rewarding. I know the people here are impressed. I, hi, Dr. Tess. How are you, Sarah? I'm fine. How did you like the Science Fair? I frankly just love Science Expo 1987. As you know, there have been three Science Expos now since my arrival here, and I think that this year's is the best of them all. That's good. I thought they were great too. I thought that. I think this so. One was good. I know so. Mm. What was the best thing at the Science Fair? Well, that's hard to say because all of the work is of fine quality, but I'm very impressed with the fact that so many kindergarten through grade three children have taken part this time, and the quality of their work is excellent. That's good. How many kids in your class participate? Well, Sarah, all of the children in my class, which this year is a grade four class, have taken part in Expo 1987. Hi, I'm Christy, and I'm here with Dr. Robinson. Hello. Hi, Christy. Dr. Rob, how'd you like the Expo this year? I thought it was terrific, one of the best ones I've ever been to. Do you think it was better than Expo 85? Well, you know, I look around here, and I saw a lot of alumni, kids who used to go to Burnell, who were in Expo 85, but I don't want to hurt their feelings, so uh, maybe if they don't listen, this one is much better than 85. <laughs> What, were, what do you think were more interesting? Like, what was more? I think I was really pleased to see how well a lot of the kids in the lower grades did. A lot of first and second graders uh, did their first projects and really did a great job. And I hope this means that they're going to be interested in science. I was also pleased to see the kids in the upper grades not only had nice projects, but they really understood what they did. And that's the important thing. <laughs> Cook, how did you like the, the projects? They were terrific. They were really nice. Um, I walked up and down the aisles and saw dozens and dozens of terrific projects, and one of them, Miss Joyce demonstrated. Did you, did you see the tornado one that they had there? No, I didn't. I wasn't going to. It's two big bottles glued together with water in them, and if you use them like a baton, which I can't do because I don't know how to baton, but Miss Joyce does. She can make the baton go, and then you stand it up, and the water comes out like a tornado. I never saw anything like it in my life. You s what were some of the other projects that you saw? Oh, my goodness. There were all kinds of projects. There were some on bears. There were some on bumblebees. There were some on um, volcanoes. There were some on electricity. There was, I don't know, there about everything under the sun. It's just <laughs> terrific projects, just great. Could you tell us about um, the bumblebee project in K through three? I didn't memorize it, but I think people were buzzing about it. It was a honey of a project. <laughs> this is Dr. Carlin. I'm here to ask 
ask you some about the science fair. Okay, what would you like to know? Did you enjoy the science expo? I think it's terrific, yes. I enjoyed it very much. Did you, Nicole? Yeah. Yep, you loved it, huh? What part did you enjoy? I think seeing all of the different kinds of experiments that people have done at various ages and various classes. The while a lot of them are the same, each one is treated differently. Kathleen Hyen, I'm here at Expo 87 with David Levanway and Joe Joey Pitta. Pitta. I'm going to ask him a few questions about the Science Expo this year. How are you liking the Science Expo this year? It's pretty cool. I like it. It's good. Yeah, rip. What do you like about the Science Expo? Uh, the project, especially the one on the nuclear bombs. It, that's pretty cool. The, uh, wide variety. I, don't, I like all of them. Yeah, it rips. So how do you like the Science Expo this year? Do you like it better than last? Um, no, I liked it better when I was in it, because my project was awesome. It ripped. Well, Mr. Domenico, how do you like the Expo so far? This Expo is absolutely tremendous. Tremendous. How do you like the younger kids' projects? The younger kids have done a superlative job. I am absolutely amazed at what they've done. Well, do you like the older kids? And these jobs, the jobs that kids have done in here are very surprising. They're just so professional that it's hard to believe that kids that age can do this kind of work. Do you have any favorites in either grade? Well, <clears throat> I like the ones and the younger kids did a lot of stuff with dinosaurs and some of them are excellent. All of them are excellent. Do you like any experiments in the older kids or the younger kids? Oh, these over here, the experiments, um, some of the things on electric current are very nice, and a couple of things on a rocket ship I thought were pretty impressive. And I'm going to answer from Father Howley from Stonehill College. He's going to answer some questions about the Science Expo. Well, Father Hurley, how do you like the Expo? I think it's terrific. I think the boys and girls here have done a tremendous job and I really enjoyed it very, very much. What do you think about the younger kids under the, the grade, grade three through four? Yes, I was just in that room, and I thought it was tremendous. I wish we had had science like that when I was in the first, second, and third grade, because I didn't know anything about science in the first, second, and third grade. And there's lots of exhibits in there. All kinds on electricity and volcanoes, especially. They were really good. I enjoyed it. And so, any, a lot on dinosaurs. Do you have any favorites in the older kids' room? In the older kids' room, I liked one especially that I saw on malaria. That was very interesting. I don't know whose it was, but it was really good, I thought. Have you been to the Science Expo in, 19, in 1985? Yes. I've been here, this is my uh, third year now at the Science Expo. Do you think that 1985 was better than the 87? Or do you think they're about the same? Or? No, I think this is the best one I've seen. And there's a lot more interest now, too, because there's a lot more parents here than there used to be.